All right, we made it to chapter 26, Castle Combat Room. I think this is one of the ones that you can, in theory, like, one or two turn. So it might be a short one, but we'll see what happens. I might be losing my mind. Chapter 26 is Xander. Leo's aid allows the group to defeat Iago. Close to the throne room, they encounter the most powerful enemy they have yet faced in battle. I don't know, we faced some pretty wacky nerds with some wacky stuff. Usually something BS that I wasn't anticipating. Like the trap stabs that we actually did anticipate this time. Um, Laszlo, Perry, I must speak with you two. My lord. Yes, Lord Xander. I assume this is about Lord Harmonia and his allies. Where will we begin? Where will we... Blah, 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 I can't words. Where will we be engaging the enemy? Like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Ooh, I can't wait for them to get here. When does this stabby party begin? I won't allow it! The two of you will remain here. This isn't your fight. Uh, what? But I want to spill someone's blood. This is important. Hmm? Are you concerned that we're not up to the task, my lord? No. No, that's not it at all. I have full faith in both of you, as ever. However, I must face Harmonia in single combat. This is the, that is the only way to limit unnecessary casualties. Enough blood has been spilled. That's why I need you two to remain here. Help keep the Norian soldiers at bay. I see. But my lord, how do you know that Harmonia will agree to your terms? I don't trust those Hashido brigands one bit. We should be nearby, just in case. Yep. I agree. That way I can pop out and kill anyone you need me to. Uh. I won't say this again. You ought to stay behind in this room, period. Uh. No. But, Lord Xander. I'm sorry. Look, I trust the two of you. More than you even know. That is why I'm asking you to help me in this way. We fought valiantly together, and I will always cherish my memories with you both. Why? Why are you saying these things? This isn't goodbye. Huh. Yeah, I don't like this. Ugh. I'm afraid we're out of time. I must go. Ugh. Wait, Lord Xander. Don't move. No, you're not allowed to en you're not allowed to leave this room. Not <laughs> to leave this room, not enter it. Enter is a very different thing. Is that clear? Yes, my lord. Uh, this isn't how it's supposed to be. What's going on, Laszlo? Well, I don't know. But we must follow Lord Xander's orders. I've still got my freaking wicked fan there. <laughs> to fan the flames! Why are those flames burning so fast? Those are hella fast flames! Are we almost there? Yep. Yes, Father's room is at the top of this tower. Understood. Thank you. Perhaps we should rest for a moment before ascending. We've all been through a lot just to get here. How troubling. That is an excellent idea. But sadly, it doesn't appear we'll get the chance. Huh? Oh? Why is that? Well... Look who's waiting for us. Big brother. Goofy Goober from Goofy Goober's Fun Party Parlor? I mean, Xander? You're here. At last. <sighs> now, once and for all. You. Hello, Harmonia. You've done well to make it this far. Listen. It's been a long journey. I was hoping I wouldn't have to face you like this, brother. No. For all your trials, you're still so naive. Did you think I let anyone, even you, kill father right in front of me? If you insist on toppling Nor, you'll have to get through me first. Stop! Big brother, please stop! Do you two really have to fight like this? Harmonia is still our brother, and all he wants is peace. What? Elise, what are you doing? Have you abandoned Nor as well? What? No, that's not it. I just want our family to go back to the way it was. How very amusing. I see. Is that child's logic how you swayed Camilla and Leo? I'm afraid it won't work on me. As the Crown Prince of Noor, I don't have the luxury of being so naive. There's nothing you can say to dissuade me from protecting Father and Noor. I will stop Harmonia, here and now. It is the only way. Oh, no. Sander, no! Stay alert. Hold fast, everyone. As long as no one from Noor intervenes, neither shall we. Don't worry, Don't yourself. worry, this isn't a trick. I won't attack Harmonia before he's ready. You see, I'm here without the support of my retainers or any soldiers. This is between you and me, little prince. Now, let us begin. Understood, brother. Now then. There isn't much space here. Let's step over into the Great Hall. <laughs> Let's step over in front of the LE, LED 4K crazy curved TV to play the most wicked game of Smash Melee ever. 
Actually, wait, people who play Melee competitively like using CRTVs because it has like less input delay, I guess, from the, that's a separate matter. Wait, stand, down. stand back, Elise. There's no need for you to see this. Uh, what? Don't move. I told you not to move. Uh, Elise. I tried, Elise, but you knew all along that this might happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hermonia. I'm sorry, I couldn't talk Xander out of all this. It's okay, Elise. I'm glad you came all the way here with us. No matter what happens, having you as my sister has been the best thing that has ever happened to me. No matter what happens, please don't say things like that. This is my it's time for me to go now. There's got to be something more I can do. I can't lose my family forever. I can't. I'm sorry, Xander, but I can't obey you this time. Let's do this. I just, I won't just let Harmony and Xander kill each other. Let us Taste begin. my fan. I really should have equipped a sword before, before going into this. Gosh, dang it. This looks so derpy now. All right, Harmonia. Time to settle this once and for all. I hope you've taken all my training to heart. Don't hesitate like you always used to. Do you understand? This isn't a mock battle, little brother. Here I am. I won't hesitate, as long as you promise not to go easy on me. I'm not the same person I used to be. Hmm. I hope that's true. Otherwise, this will be a sad, short fight. <laughs> there goes nothing. Yeah, so we're using magic instead of the sword. I wasn't kidding. Xander is stronger than I remember, but I can't afford to lose. Good. You're much stronger than before. I'm impressed, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. What animations is that from? Because Xander can't be in his cannon paladin class during this since he's like not mounted. Is that just like the, I think that might just be the regular mercenary animations. Anyway, that's, that's besides the point. Harmonia. God, he's losing. It could well be hero or mercenary, something like that. Leave us. This is my fight with Xander. Is that all? What's wrong, Harmonia? Is that really all you've got? Xander, please, try to understand. You, you've got so much power. Join me and use it in the service of justice. <laughs> Sorry, uh, together we could easily overthrow King Garen. Justice, justice is, is an illusion. illusion. When kingdoms and lives are at stake, there's no justice to be found anywhere. Don't you see that by now? <sighs> You're wrong, justice does exist. It's not black and white like some believe, but it's there all the same. I mean, Fire Emblem Fates is a game that paints things to be pretty black and white. It would have been really cool to see things, you know, in a much more open way, but... Glass. Open your eyes, brother. Very well. You will die fighting for your cause. I shall defend my homeland! <laughs> Please, speak to me. Oh, oh, Xander, your sword. Lay it down for me. Oh. Nor needs more from you. Not just your strength. Oh. What we need is caring and a warm hand. In tears. That's the way. Try to be at peace. Happening. Please wake up. You can't die like this. Get up, Harmonia. Let's end this. 
How can you keep fighting like nothing's happened? At least just died in your arms trying to stop us from fighting. Yet, you want to pick up right where we left off? I... I know. That's why this fight will be our last. Now get up. Now! It can't be. All she wanted was peace. And for us to be a family again. She hated seeing us fight. Please, big brother. Don't make me say it again. Draw your sword. <sighs> Prepare yourself. Now. <sighs> brother. That's it. Fine. As you wish. I guess you're not the brother I remember, Sander. At least, I'm so sorry I couldn't save you. And it doesn't look like I'll be able to make your last wish come true either. But I can still end this war. I can still bring peace to our kingdoms. Xander, you taught me to be brave. You taught me how to wield power. The time has come for me to show you what I've learned. If you have any last words, now is the time. Uh. Now it's Xander, is everything okay? No. Is, is that Lady Elise? What's happened to her? What? I told you two to stay out of this. What are you doing here? Uh. My lord. We both had such a bad feeling about this whole thing, and we thought it better to risk punishment than regret in action. Besides, they must have double-crossed you. Which one of you did this to Lady Elise? I'll gut you. No, Elise was... <sighs> As I commanded before, stay out of this! That is an order! I don't wanna... Wait, like Laszlo said, we don't care if you're mad. We want to make sure you don't get killed, so we brought some troops. I will protect Against your orders if necessary, we will protect you, my lord. Nothing will change our minds on this. Watch out, everyone. Xander's retainers just arrived with a team of soldiers. What? Hm. So much for this duel. Cowards. Prepare to engage the enemy. Bring it on. None of your friends will get within shouting distance of Lord Xander. Diverging yeah, killing. at least not in one piece. Blast. This isn't what I wanted. Okay, well... Oh, we can bring one more unit. But who's it gonna be? Yeah, draw your tome rather than your sword. We can probably just deal with Xander the way that, the way that it is. So, you just get a, you just get someone with a lock touch or a key. Bring a Ryda, why Ryda? I haven't used her since we got her. She's level one, level one promoted. I mean, we could bring Ryoma. What if we, there's probably some unique dialogue. Hmm. I'll bring Ryoma because there's probably some unique dialogue and I'm like curious to see it. Hmm. We can like save state before it. <laughs> See what happens and what not or something. So yeah, hold on. Hold on. If we were like here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if we sing, we can get Ryoma over there and see what's going on. Because we should just be able to Asugi lock touch the door, right? Maybe swap with someone else there then, I think. Um, that is literally just base Xander to Conquest, is it really? You know, he has 15 speed. He's level 18, so his other stats are probably going to be up. His other stats are probably higher than- whoops. Hmm. Also, I know this is supposed to be a sad time. I apologize for ruining it. Um, yeah, let's break through. How about start the battle? Victory, defeat the boss. So yeah, it is absolutely one that you can one turn. So like... Hmm. Somebody magical, most likely. Shigure, what do you think? We could just get Rajat. She won't be able to like warp then, but that's fine. That's fine. Watch him beep this heartbreaking moment. Well, uh... Oop. Also, you know, one of my favorite memes, like, I keep a meme folder. Speaking of memeing this heartbreaking moment, there's the folder of memes that I keep for going live with whatever game. So naturally, I have a large folder. I have a lot of Fire Emblem Fates memes because of how much we stream this game. And I have one meme that I couldn't use until this chapter. <laughs> Should I just... Should I just show it and thoroughly ruin the moment? Want to see me thoroughly ruin the moment? Where is it? Here it is. 
One of my favorite Fire Emblem Fates memes. Um... You thought you were going to kill Karin, but it was me, Elise! Okay, that, that's enough of that. You've, you've seen it, now it can't be unseen. Okay, um, anyway, it's sad times. It's sad times, I'm sorry. Uh, door. <laughs> we're getting through. Um, don't think that I won't still, uh, you know, use that as another going live thing, Bob. Don't think I won't. <laughs> so we can pair up with freaking Replica Ryoma there, if we really want. I mean, we may as well get some experience while we're here. Like, we may as well, right? <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, that's, um... <laughs> it kind of thoroughly ruins the moment. I apologize, but, like, that's got to be one of my favorite Fire Emblem Fates memes that I wasn't allowed to use before this point because spoilers. But now I can share. I love how both Caden and Selkie have a crit quote that's literally just laughing. I think Cadence is a bit better, though. I do like Cadence laugh crit a little bit better, though, myself. Yeah, let's just, uh... We'll get a little smidge of experience before we one-turn this. That's what we do. Imagine me actually low-turn counting a map in Fire Emblem Fates for once. Isn't that crazy? Well, get smidges of experience. Cool. Does Mitama want some sword experience? Sure. <laughs> Get the single stabby stab. They are so much tougher than I am. You would think that I'd be so insanely OP by this point. But like, just comparing me to the enemies is still like, my goodness. They are still quite tough. Definitely a big difficulty spike. I mean, apart from the fact that we can one turn this. That'll be a free level up. Yeah, get some experience while we one-turn the boss. Oh, we're gonna get the second Dark Knight skill, Life Taker. Yes. Yes. Look at this, we'll get our HP back. Dang, it doesn't proc the first- Oh, it's only when you kill. Sorry, I'm freaking losing my mind. For some reason, I had in my mind that we killed when we didn't. Um... You need bond with Rajat anyway, so like... So sure. Rajat in the pair-up is doing more than Shiro is. Big stretch from the Dogi real quick. Isn't that crazy? Should I just like... Yeah, we'll get some katana experience. We can use it a little smidge more than the than the club, I suppose. Okay, Ether might just shred you. Oh, it definitely will now. <laughs> Do I cutscene battles don't work in level-based games? Could be extremely over-leveled and still lose a fight in a cutscene? This is true. I mean, sure. Be a good way to get some experience on his Ame. Oh, prepare for oblivion with the parasol. Huh? Wow! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the Lodestar ranged weapon crit quote. He does a, or crit quote, a uh, crit animation. He does a spin. Gosh darn that level up. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before, quite frankly. Well, I will be your support. Man, there's gotta be some more sword experience on Mitama. Nice. 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 <laughs> what timing, huh? Um, does Mitari want some more sword experience? I think so, because I think it'd be cool if we could start her using a steel sword. Stab a stab. I do like my Dreadfighter Midori. I like freaking most of my classes that we have here in builds for the kiddo units. No, nothing proccing. No Luna or crit or anything. It's big sad. That's a free level up though, so I will take it. Wow. Well, our fate was sealed considering it's lunatic mode where your fate is sealed with whatever level up, you know? So I mean, uh, Kana could use some... Um... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, may as well, you know? Smack. Like, look, you are so mean. So even if you think I'm OP at this point, well, my character is. But the kiddo units in general aren't exactly OP. We can still have a decent challenge here when we're not one turn and things. Yes, a level up because you're a little bit behind. It'd be nice if you could get the Hashido skill, which I believe is at level 15. Unless you have it already. Yeah, you don't have it already, so it is at the, at the later level, I guess. Can you cannon nothing? Imagine though. Imagine though. Well, sure. Get a smidge of bond there. 
Now, I'm gonna save state, and I'm gonna see what Ryoma has to say. Because I'm curious. <laughs> and then I'll probably do my unit after loading state. Stay back. This is between me and Harmonia. What? There's really no dialogue for... for these two? It's just the generic... I'm sad that these two don't actually have a dialogue with each other there. That's silly. But yeah. Uh, like Xander for being the only Norian general who fights with the honor and doesn't rely on cheap tactics for victory. And he probably he probably doesn't like Fortnite either. Probably. Most likely. Well, let's go with the Ryoma replica. I mean, I could use the sword. We'll almost certainly proc something, right? Almost certainly. Fight without fear or hesitation. Don't hold back. I promise you that I won't. I won't, I won't. I know I've never bested you before, but that changes now. That's the spirit. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Yep. Sorry, Xander, but this is a fight you cannot win. How could I be so careless? One that you cannot win here. I knew you could do it. I'm proud of you, Harmonia. I always told you, you could do anything. You set your mind to. Brother, your technique was flawless. You finally stopped holding yourself back. It's what I've always tried to teach you. You're becoming the leader I always knew you could be. Sander. We'll actually get a level up off of it. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm not the one ruining the moment. The freaking level up RNG is. You are stronger than before. You've done well, Harmonia. No, I'm still so weak. I'm still no match for you. Why did you let me win, Xander? Tell me, why? Uh, why? Answer me. I fought so hard to be stronger. But it's still not enough. You still ended up protecting me in the end. It's just like we when we always trained together. It's just like... <laughs> Try those eyes, little prince. Do you know what my favorite memory is? Sharing a laugh with you. Elise, Camilla, and Leo around the dinner table. I think Leo had his boots on the wrong feet that day. In my heart, I have so many memories of us siblings laughing together. Those were the happiest days of my life. Why? And why did it have to end this way? Why did we have to fight? If you had just listened to Elise or to me, neither of you would have had to die. No. You can't throw your life away on, if only, little prince. You chose a path, but I never had that choice. I'm the Crown Prince of Nor. My fate was sealed the day I was born. Big brother, Xander. There is no time for I'd you. like to think that things could have turned out differently in another world. We could have ended the war together, fighting side by side. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no. I feel like some of like the minimal voice acting cutscenes can ruin things a little bit. Xander, stay with me. Ah. I'm here, Harmonia. I, I'm sorry. Let you slip away from me. It's Crown Prince. I didn't have the option of picking sides like you or Leo or the rest. So I really did intend to kill you for the good of Nor. But in the end, I did what I always told you not to do. I let my feelings overrule my duty. In the end, it was my undoing. Is that. Is that justice? I won't allow it's not it. fair, Xander. You think you can just say something like that and die on me? I'll never be as good as you, Xander. I see that now. I've always looked up to you. You can't leave me. I you have already prevailed, you. little prince. Don't you see? I couldn't lead this world or nor into peace. But you, you can. And you will. You can do the things I couldn't. That's how you'll surpass me. In the end. Xander, I'm, I'm counting on you. Counting on you. Harmonia. Father. Garen, he's... He's... He's not what he used to be. He's just locked in his room all day, every day, mindlessly gaming. What? Sander, I think I understand. I promise to stop him. Thank you. Thank you, Harmonia. Now it's time to say goodbye. Please, don't cry. No. <laughs> Sander. Sander! Harmonia. Everyone. I... I suppose we have to keep going. That's... what they would have wanted. If I stayed here crying, 
Xandra would have gently scolded me. To honor their sacrifices, I must carry on their honorable legacy. I must be a light in the dark, just like Elise was. And I must be a kind and determined leader, just like Xander. If we can't stop King Garen, then all this death will have been in vain. Come, everyone. It's time. Very well. You can do this, Harmonia. Thank you. Thank you, Azura. Everyone, we're almost at the end. King Garen awaits. Xander, Elise, I hope you both know how much I love you. I promise to make you proud and to end this senseless war for good. There's that chapter. Yeah, that definitely was a short one. That was meant to be the heartbreaking chapter of Fire Emblem Fate's birthright and whatnot. Garen hasn't been the same since Iago showed him Fortnite on his Xbox. <laughs> and it got to the point where they were always doing doubles with one another. But then Garen went to the dark side, the darkest side of Fortnite, and started soloing, leaving Iago behind, and Iago died, and now Xander has died. And now Garen is just all on his lonesome, just soloing until the end of time. And he's determined to keep soloing. Should I save in case I lose this arena battle for like one of the things I have left if I don't want to go to like the massive pain of uh, transferring my save file to my actual 3DS? Astra and Red Heaven, Astra and Red Heaven, and Potoxic. Sure, let's show our Spear Master Aboro that we have now. You made another one, Kega Samurai. Oh no. Another Mei Mei. Oh no. If only you could have procced a thing. Ow. Now you proc a thing, huh? Will this even do more than 29? Oh, well. Now you're doing things that you could have done before. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Whale? Yeah, we're fighting. We're fighting some more. Do it some more. Oh, you're doubling here. They have 100% hit rate because we have Katoxic, though. But I mean, get good damage. Ugh! They're 100% hit rate because the Quetoxic is kind of a massive pain. Okay, maybe I'll just settle with, like, the force. We have a little bit of a buffer to gamble some more stuff later. Do I really want... Wait. I have the power of save states. There, let's do it. I think I save state. <laughs> Come on, Astra, please. Woo! Oh, yes. Come on. Ooh. We risked it for the hypothetical biscuit. And we got it. Yes. Fantastic. Pearl times eight. Good. Very good. Good, Anakin. There. Now we have a little bit of a pearl buffer. Now we just need to do the same for Amber. And your future. Take these glasses. We talk about glasses? Maybe I would have noticed in the last battle if I was actually paying attention. Maybe, maybe. Well, Lilith died. Elise died. Xander died. Iago died. <laughs> Most important character of them all. Kaze would have died if we hadn't gotten to a sport with him. He would have been a scripted death. And now Garen is the last one. No support! I guess because we only did like the one freaking turn there and now it's only Bond. Uh, oh yeah, Hans! We can't forget about Hans and Franz who are here to pump you up. He died too. I forgot about that one. I did actually forget. Um, okay, should I be checking the memes channel here now? One of these formats, huh? <laughs> One of them formats, huh? <laughs> Is Fortnite actually overrated? <laughs> My goodness. Like, I've seen that format used with, like, different characters before. I have I have a couple Three Houses memes with, like, Sylvain and uh, uh, Felix and somebody else in that photo. I have it somewhere in my memes library. One of those from Three Houses. But like, so I've seen a few of those by this point of like that scene right there of is Fortnite actually overrated? And it makes me wonder what was the original video anyway? <laughs> it makes me kind of curious, but I feel like I'd I'd either love seeing the original or hate it and regret my decision like crazy. And I don't know which it would be. So, you know, good thing Xander didn't like Fortnite or else otherwise Korn would have been screwed. If Xander had taken that fight seriously and you know, actually tried to get a victory royale for him and uh, Garen and whatnot. Anyway, it's really late. So we'll save here. I think that that's the final chapter. I think, I think that everything's a two-parter. So it's like chapter 27 to 28, like immediate two-parter. So we would still have like a couple parts left, but 
I think that's just... I think that there's just gonna be like maybe two parts left. I mean, in case I don't get the chance to otherwise, I could go through the builds I made for like the adult units and whatnot, just because, you know, we might just hop into like the finale for next time. I don't even know if I'll go to the effort of getting the taker skills. Xander versus Ryoma, who win? Freaking Ryoma won. But then we loaded state to before Ryoma won, and then we killed Xander with uh, with my unit. But yeah, literally took you a month just to beat this one chapter in Conquest. That sounds like me the first time I did uh, uh, Fire Emblem Conquest uh, Lunatic Classic. Do I have my old save files? Okay, they're not on my PC right now, but they're on my 3DS. I literally couldn't actually beat Fire Emblem Fates Conquest Lunatic Classic without losing somebody. I lost Percy. Poor Percy. The same guy. Voiced by the same guy that voices Pit from Kid Icarus. I lost him. I literally couldn't beat the Iago map without losing him. I'm not talking about like the final map. Literally chapter 26, I lost Percy and I couldn't do it without losing him. So I saved into like another slot so that, you know, I could still beat the game and whatnot without uh and have that other save file that I can go back to where Percy is still alive, but I would have to, uh, you know, beat chapter 26 without losing anybody. So to this day, I have not actually beaten Luna to Classic Conquest chapter 26 without losing anybody. That will change covering it on this channel. That will definitely change covering it on this channel. But like, but yeah, it was chapter 14, huh? But yeah, hallway of death kind of hard. It definitely is. Definitely is. What the hell was I gonna, oh yeah. We, Cause this one's, I wanna, this one's gonna be a shorter episode otherwise because that was a, you know, short battle. So I'll, I'll show some stuff. Um, from dudos that we actually did stuff with. Uh, Jacob was already done, basically. Like, he could just, like, chill in Paladin and whatnot. He doesn't actually have as nice of a pool as I hoped he would, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, Hinata here is a blacksmith. He would have gotten Axe Fair if it was an actual option here, but you need Berserker for Axe Fair, because blacksmith could get A in axes and only up to B in swords. So it make more sense to have Axe Fair than Sword Fair, but we can't actually get Axe Fair. We would only be able to get that from Berserker, uh, Conquest thing or Bob. But yeah, he has Astra from, you know, the same freaking thing or Bob's. He has a whole bunch of freaking stuff there. Who's next here? Saizo. I decided to make both Saizo and Kaze our couple master ninjas. So they've got good old Shirk and Fair. Astra Lethality for funsies. Lock Touch just for, just because I could throw something else on there. The other thing that I'd probably throw on there is Darting Blow, which is from, you know, the Falcon Knight, not Falcon Knight, um, Whatever the promotion of Pegasus Knight is. It is called Falcon Knight. My goodness. I was getting confused with like Dark Falcon. Just had to double check there. Um, Mozu. I just left Aptitude on because it's the kind of thing that I would leave on until skills are maxed anyway. But her stuff is basically like get a whole bunch of damage and whatnot. Like freaking plus five damage dealt if using a bow. During combat plus five plus ten damage to dealt and taken. This unit deals plus four damage when initiating combat. Rend Heaven for just more damage. And if I had an extra space, I, I mean, if one of the rules that I had in this playthrough was like only use one of each DLC class, so I can't just get the skills on everybody. But if I negated that rule, I would totally put on aggressor from dread fighter because where is our dread fighter? Um, right here, because aggressor is plus seven damage when he or she initiates the attack. So it's literally just a better version of this skill. It's literally just a better quick draw. So you could bring that up to 11 that this would be 21. This would be 26. So you could literally get to plus 26 damage when initiating combat. <laughs> Isn't that an interesting thought for Mozu to be able to shred people with? So that was that was my idea there. Um, I'm good old Hinoka here with the Lance Fair and whatnot. A bunch of our stats are maxed from going through stuff. A whole bunch of kind of standard stuff. I could always take off Quitoxic because it is kind of annoying how it increases the enemy hit rate by so much as I was noticing in the arena there. But it is fun to have like plus 15% skill trigger rate you know it is definitely fun uh Caden here is just like yeah do the standard thing here's like a couple proccing skills and then just like when you're initiating combat he's gonna be hitting a lot better and dodging a lot easier essentially like he doesn't have access to as many kind of spicy spice things um Kaze over here is very similar to uh Saizo I instead of lock touch I have death blow here for plus 20 crit when you initiate an attack which is pretty spicy spiced um Hayato here uh, he's gonna have Tome Fair instead of Lance Fair, even though Lances are the things that he'd get up to A and Tome's up to B because of Bizarra. But, you know, he might still f Wow, his strength is actually higher than his magic anyway. Can he even go into the... Uh, Spearmaster line? Like, I think... Does he even have access to that line? Because his strength is just straight up better anyway. Anyway, 
Um, mostly doing tomes, but he can do lances as well if need be. I think I ran out of steel lances, so he just has like a regular iron one for now. Yeah, just some pretty standard stuff there. Um, Sakura is in Strategist, like Elise would be. Good old tome fair we have here. Asked her for a nice skill to proc, and then other stuff is just kind of like misc stuff to like slap on there, essentially, because I didn't have as much access to spicy spice. Um, Hana is an interesting case, being able to get Great Knight from her relationship with Silas. So, she's able to get Swordfair from her own class, uh, Astra from her own class, uh, Luna from what she got from Silas, same with Armored Blow, and that. So, when she's initiating combat, she'll be, you know, pretty well off, I guess, was my mindset there when it came to that. Um, Zama here just has some, you know, pretty standard stuff. Rend Heaven, Replicate, of course. Live to Serve, because why not? Just some kind of standard things. He doesn't get as spicy spice, doesn't have access to as many spicy spice things. Um, Rinka here is still pretty, uh, you know, standard across, like, what's good and whatnot. Um, wait, you're finally free now. What's the next character? Wait, what? What you mean? Awa? But yeah, so that's what's going on with Rinka over there. Orochi, I was tempted to leave in Bazaar for a slightly better defense growth rate, but I was like, screw it. I'll just throw everybody, all the adult units in their intended final classes anyway. Um, so yeah, Tome Fair, Rend Heaven, and Replicate for really good things. And then just for some misc stuff. Seal speed so that you can, like, better double them if you're trying to capture, which we shouldn't need to anymore. But, just for the sake of having, like, a nice decked out save file, if the time ever came that I did want to capture somebody else, then we could, uh, for sure do it on, like, the follow-up. And then just, like, swap, because why not? Positioning things are things that I don't use as much as I probably should, and probably should use more and whatnot. And then Tsubaki over here is just good old Lance Fair, some things that he can proc, replicate. And Duelist Blow I gave him specifically because it can stack with his personal skill. Grants plus 30 avoid when a unit initiates combat, and his perfectionist skill is grants hit slash avoid plus 15 when this unit is at full HP. So if he's initiating combat, he's literally going to have like 45 avoid there. So, you know, he's gonna be able to dodge things pretty decently well, actually, was kind of my mindset there. Uh, was it chapter autocorrect you ruined your moment? The next one is, uh, Garen, but we're probably gonna save that till next time. And then that would- right now is stream 19, so I guess the finale one would be stream 20. Right now we're just going through, like, some builds, and then I'll wrap up the stream in a stream, and next time, we'll finally beat this playthrough after 20 streams and probably, like, 80-something parts. Um, Obero here is just, like, Lance Fair, some things you can proc with Toxic for, like, being able to do it more often, because it's fun. Yeah, freaking next time, Garen's gonna show off them Fortnite skills. Of course, Replicate. Anybody that has access to Replicate absolutely slaps it on because it's OP as heck. We won't be able to get Replicate around as much during our Conquest playthrough, considering it's, you know, a Hashido kind of thing we're bought with Ninja slash uh, Apothecary. But, you know, we will still try to get around. Then there's Silas over here that has freaking skills of the Ying Ying. He gets Sword Fair and Astra from his relationship with Hana, and freaking Luna Soul from his own stuff, and then replicate from A+, plus with Kaze, which I think is spicy spice. Felicia just has, like, some, this standard thing that she has access to. Um, Astra was through A+, plus support with probably Hana or something like that, I don't remember. Um, and then some basic kind of standard stuff that can help her be a mage killer kind of thing on enemy phase. Um, Kagero here is a master of arms for, like, the sake of diversity and whatnot, because I try to have at least, like, one of each kind of class here. So we have, you know, a lot of diversity across our across our thing Rabob here. So Kagero is our one master of arms. So she can use all these weapons, but the swords are gonna be the ones that she's best at, being able to get that to A, whereas these get up to B, so she's got good old sword fare for that reason. So we're gonna assuming these were all maxed out, she'd be using mostly swords, but be able to switch to the other ones when she needs to. And then stuff that she can proc, replicate, and death blow for more crit when you're attacking and whatnot. Scarlet here is just designed to like do that one grinding strat on a on the EXP grinding map to be able to like lunge onto that one spot, have more movement, pass to get onto the glyph or whatever the hell the thing is to block all the gold dudes from escaping and do like just more damage to like more dudos and whatnot. And freaking, we haven't touched Anna, we just got her earlier this stream. I could deck her out, I guess, but like, and then freaking Ryoma here. That whole shebang. I think that my favorite pair up that I did in this playthrough was honestly Silas Hana. Because, like, look at what happens from doing that. Silas has access to this kit here. Freaking Swordfair, Luna, Soul, Astra, Replicate. Hana has access to Great Knight to help patch up her shoddy defense since Great Knight focuses on defense, so that really helps balance things out if she continues to level up to help fix that defense stat while also getting spicy things like freaking Luna 
armor blow to help patch up her defense even more. And in addition, Hana can A plus with Setsuna, I believe it was. And that's exactly what she did to get the Bowfare skill, which got passed down to Sophie, because Sophie's not going to be able to get Bowfare otherwise. So I think that my favorite pair up that I've done in this playthrough is probably Silas Hana, because they do incredible things for each other. And then you can get freaking Bowfare Sophie along with Replicate. And uh, my goodness, the family of destruction, basically. You would think that like some of the best ones, some of the best pair-ups would be things like whoever goes to be the mother to Shiro. But I think one of my favorite spicy spice ones has got to be my Sophie. Something I've thought about doing is there was a time like a while back with three houses in the early days of three houses where I occasionally made fire emblem guides. I've technically made one for fates already because I did that like Azura grinding script. I've been thinking about potentially doing like short, you know, five to ten minute videos on on fates on some of my favorite pair ups and why they're why they're so good. Like I could absolutely make like a short video on like the Silas Hana pair up for Birthright, the freaking Bow Knight Sophie of destruction, while Silas and Hana do great things for each other as well. So that's something I'll consider. So like once we do beat the game during the next session, like we'll be taking a bit of a break from fates for a while. But if I want some other things to edit and like some other Fire Emblem stuff on the channel, I might consider doing like some pair up showcases and like some, you know, more in depth, I with some more in depth explanations of like my plans and builds and why I do the things that I do and whatnot. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. But yeah, still get replicate on Kyle, Silas, Xander, Kord, and whoever Kyle marries. You can actually get more than that because interestingly enough, all the characters from in Conquest that are from uh, Awakening originally have a secondary class that's technically from Hoshido, interestingly enough. So, for whatever reason, Laszlo has Ninja as a secondary class, so you can get it on Laszlo as well. And like anybody that, le well, if Laszlo A plus is somebody else who's a mercenary, which isn't any other male units, I don't think so, he's not going to be able to do that. But I guess whoever, no, same with rest support, he's not going to be able to do that, but, you know. Laszlo and Soliel are going to have access to Replicate as well because that's going to be their secondary class because there's like the weird special exception case. So you can still get Replicate on a decent few nerds, but not quite the sheer insane numbers here. But it is worth keeping in mind that, you know, Laszlo has access to Replicate as well, interestingly enough. How do you forget about Laszlo? He was like your best unit last time. You just forgot about him, I guess. So that's something interesting about that gonna have over 140 hours in this file by the end that's crazy oh big stretch from doggy okay well that's a good point to wrap things up this was the 19th stream of fire among fate's birthright 20 will be the finale my goodness gracious how insane well with that thanks all who stopped by and hung out for another set of shenanigans i'm gonna pass out here pretty soon it's really late <laughs> But our late night shenanigans of Fire Emblem Fates are almost done. I mean, unless I start doing late night shenanigans with Conquest. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. It'll probably be a while before we pick up Conquest because there's a bunch of other games. But yeah, so have a good night, everyone. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Hey, silly doggy. Hey. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna pass out. So take care, all, and see ya.